Hi everybody, my name is Jeff with Coa Sporting Optics and we're here to talk about some optics obviously today. In particular, uh, one thing that it seems like everyone has a real tough time understanding exactly what it is, is how to properly set the diopter on your specific binocular. Now the diopter is there to allow you to get both of your eyes in focus at the same time. The diopter mechanism is usually slaved to just the right barrel so what you have to do is adjust your binoculars to your left eye and then adjust the diopter for the right eye so that both are perfectly in focus and you can see through both eyes equally at the same time. Now there's a lot of different ways of doing this. Some, um, mostly inexpensive models, will have a diopter control on the right barrel here that you twist back and forth simply uh, to adjust. Others will still have them on the right barrel but will be a locking mechanism like the Genesis here. In this case, we have to actually lift it up and slide it back and forth and then pop it back in place um, to adjust it. And others yet will be built into, um, integrated into the focusing system, kind of like this one, where it's integrated on the center barrel on the distal end of the binocular on the Genesis Compact. With that said, let's just simply talk about how to go about setting the diopter for a specific binocular. So again, what you have to do is very simple. One knob, just remember one control for one eye. So the first thing we need to do is focus the system to our left eye. So I'm going to cover the right barrel here. You can use the uh, cap if you have it as well. But I'm going to look at a subject that has some writing on it. Twist this back and forth. And generally what I like to do is go a little beyond focus, so it's okay, it's in focus, it's getting out of focus, and then go back to look sharp and stop. The reason I do that is if you keep filling with it, your eyes are going to try and assimilate focus after a little while, which becomes problematic. Now, my left eye is completely in focus, so I do not want to touch the focus wheel again. What I want to do now is move to the focusing ring here for the diopter, or the diopter control ring, I should say. So. Same idea, I'm going to cover the left barrel, which is already in focus. I'm not going to touch my focus wheel. And I'm just going to spin this diopter control on the barrel on this particular model. Again, using my right eye, looking at the same exact subject. A uh, stationary object at a set distance with some print works really well. Go past focus. Come back till it looks good. Just double check that both eyes look like they're in focus. They are. You're all set. Now that may change even a little bit throughout the day, even within one individual, but certainly if you were to share binoculars, which we don't want to do in today's day and age probably, um, you're going to have to reset the diopter for individual eyes. Um, but your uh, submissive eye can actually get tired throughout the day, so your diopter can actually change a little bit throughout the day as well. So it's a good thing to understand how to set the diopter on your binoculars.